get to the worst sports moment. What was the worst sports moment in 2000? I think everyone kind of knows what it was. All right. Well, well you, you go first. What was the worst sports moment? I, I'm so, it's so hard. Oh. I, I just finished my sessions of therapy. Oh. It's so hard to even say it. The, um, oh. It's a combination. It's a team. But it's... It's a collective, it's a tear. painful thing. It's uh, the incident that occurred between the Patriots and the Giants. If you guys don't know what the incident the is, incident. you guys are going to see the top of your screen. <laughs> yes. What the incident really means. We don't really we don't voice, talk about it. We don't, yeah. Yeah, you know, you guys, you guys can see the incident. I mean, yep. You guys know what it is. <laughs> And, so, yo, go ahead, no, go ahead, man. Man. Well, the incident. <laughs> yo, this is therapy. We yeah, have, I know, we have, we to, have, to, we have to do this. We, we have to do this. this. You know, it's, it's been no. tough. It hurts. Yeah, it's the incident, and then trying to go over that, we're on the ground crying already. And then we begin the season, and then uh, we lose uh, our good friend Tom Brady. So that we're already on the ground crying. And then someone just comes by and just kicks us that's, in the stuff. That's like us crying that's exactly and Mike Tyson happened. runs and punches you in the face. It's just, that just happens. It's terrible. And, it, and it's like after you, you, you feel physically drained, mostly drained from the incident, and then you return the next thing. He's like, you know what? We still have the same team. We're going to be great, blah, blah, blah. Then this happens. You're like, oh, it's just devastating. Just you devastating. Know, it reminded me of my childhood, you know, when I was, trying to get some ice cream from the ice cream truck and all the little kids got their money from their parents and my mom wouldn't give me a nickel <laughs> and everybody's just sitting there like Eddie Murphy I got my ice cream I got my ice cream and I'm not I mean that's what it felt like and then they're rubbing it in your face I mean you have an undefeated regular season you win two playoff games and you go to a team where you're a 20 plus point favorite and you lose, and you lose painfully, and it hurts so bad. And we don't talk about it for months. <laughs> for months, we don't talk about it. You didn't even know that we played football in oh, New England. I didn't want to see people talk about the Red Sox. Yeah. I be I bought a Revolution jersey. I talked about anything but the Patriots, <laughs> and then I say, "All right, new season, yep. ready to go. We're going undefeated again. We're gonna win the Super Bowl." And 15 plays into the season, Tom Brady is done. <laughs> and it's just the most ridiculous thing that I've ever had to experience. You, you know what? After watching the Super Bowl, and I said the word, after watching, <laughs> after watching the incident, this is this tough. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, guys. Yeah, that's right. I got into politics. <laughs> I'm serious. I'm, oh, I'm dead. Man. I watched CNN for like months. I, that's when I got into. It got that bad. Oh, it got that bad. He volunteered for Barack. He was just all politics. I got into politics. That's how bad it was. Oh, no, it was bad. And I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say it, guys. I have to. I blame it on Richard Seymour and tackle Eli Manning. I mean, hit rapping down. I mean, you can't oh, blame it. Listen, jeez. If we're gonna talk if about it, was Hobbs. If we're gonna talk that about it, no, I don't want to talk about it. Talk about it. Listen, oh. you cannot blame it on one single person. Oh, I am. And if you're gonna blame it on a single person, you know very well who you gotta blame it on. Richard Seymour! Bill Belichick! What was he wearing? He, <laughs> he didn't wear the hoodie! He didn't wear the hoodie! He that's, did it! That's the only thing that you can blame it on. How are you gonna go from the old, rustic, torn up, <laughs> you know, championship sweater hoodie to the brand new red flashy? Oh. He, but he went Hollywood on us. That's what happened. Yeah. He went Hollywood. <laughs> oh, devastated. Hey, look, look. I have one more moment. Okay, go, yeah, the go worst ahead. was, um, in recent news, not local, but worldwide, when Auburn hired uh, this mm, guy, yeah. this guy, yeah. Gene this Chisnick, <laughs> Gene Chisnick, over our good buddy Turner Gill in uh, in Buffalo. That was very upsetting, and that's one of the worst moments that uh, Turner Gill got passed over. And uh, if you have any questions about that, ask Charles Barkley. Yeah. He'll let you know exactly how he feels about it. Yeah, this is a country where you can have, you know, you could, you could be the president of the United States of America if you're black. But you can't be the coach of a football team. Not in the SEC. You know, and I think um, we really got to look at this. I'm, 
and I, we need to start having more black athletic directors. Though right. it starts up top, right. you know, what I'm saying, and, and, and work your way down. It's think, sad. It's sad that there's more black NFL coaches in the NFL than there is in college football. Well, because the in rule, Division One college football with a hundred plus teams, there's less call. There's less African American football coaches than in the NFL. And well, most of them, majority are African American players. So mm-hmm. it's like, well, the Rooney Rule for the NFL, mm-hmm. I think, is a good thing. Yeah. Forcing, even though. A lot of black coaches thought I'm just a token interview. Yeah. Even it's even that case, at least they got in and they got to start somewhere. And um, you know, we got Mike Tomlin, mm-hmm. Romeo Cornell, oh, Lovey Smith. Smith, Lovey Smith. Mm-hmm. They are Herm who we Edwards. thought they were. Herman, you know, Dennis Green. He'll yep. he'll be back in coaching probably yep. next year. Herman mm-hmm. Edwards. Yep. So I mean, that Rooney Rule is actually helping out. It's, it's like the NFL version of affirmative action, yeah. you could say. Mm-hmm. But let's move on to the.